Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I want to make a card with these colors and this paper. And this is crushed curry, the ink pad and the paper. And this is wild wasabi, also the ink pad and the paper. This is all from Stamping Up and I love the fact that the colors coordinate. So I'm going to use this set. And it's called Happy Celebrations. And I really love it. Uh, with this set comes a set of um, embossing folders. And I keep them in here. Because I think that's handy. It just all fits in here, so uh, I took them out of the packaging and put them in here, so you have them all together. So, I can use... you have Happy and Celebrate. And um, I think I'm going to use the Celebrate. Uh, not the stamp, I'm just going to use the embossing folder. So I can put this away. And I want to use this stamp. So, here we go. <laughs> Um, okay, first, first, I need to emboss this. So I need my big shot. Okay. And where is it? Over here. So what you want to do is put your folder, uh, your paper inside the embossing folder and just see if it's a bit in the middle and straight. Well, I think this is... <laughs> Come on like this. So then I just emboss it all. There we go. Let's just see. Oh, that looks great. See, you can see that it's embossed. <laughs> the weather is really strange, guys. Sometimes there's sun and then there are dark clouds, so the lighting will be a bit weird. But oh well. <laughs> okay. Now what I want to do is take a yellow card and just fold it. So this is 10 by 10 by 15 centimeters. So I want to put this on here and then put a bit of wild wasabi under there. So I can put these aside for a moment. And um, what I want to do is use this stamp. So it's a little bit smaller than the celebrate, um, than the word, than the sentiment, but Just to get it out. Now, there's something fun you can do. You can stamp the stamp like this, turn it around and stamp it like that. So um, it doesn't really cover the whole stamp and normally that's okay but I really want it to. But I got a little trick for that as well. So I'm gonna take my crushed curry ink pad and just ink up uh, the stamp. And then what I want to do is take my wild wasabi, uh, take a sponge or, and then just go lightly around the edges. You don't really see that, but it's there. <laughs> and you leave uh, one side open because I want to, I don't want uh, green in the middle. Let's just stamp and I'll show you. Uh, ooh, like this. So I didn't get the whole word over here, so I'm going to do this again. <laughs> and here you have celebrate. If you want to stamp this... Uh, I don't have a piece of paper. <laughs> Wait. You can use this again. Only you don't have the whole word, so... I'm not sure what to do with that. Maybe for an art journal it's fun. And I'm going to clean it up. And do it again. Yep, a bit too much, a bit too much. So I'm gonna take my dot. These are daubers, I think. <laughs> my sponge, and just go around the edges. And now uh, I think I'm gonna put this a bit lower and just stamp again. But don't push too hard because then you go inside the celebration part. So this looks really nice. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> But this time I'm going to turn my stamp around. First of all, uh, put some green over here. And again, not on this side because otherwise you get a green line over there. Don't want that. So now I'm just going to put it the other way around. Let's see what happens. Uh, like this. So I push harder on this side because here's already lots of ink. Oh, 
looks nice. I think I'm gonna go over it with just yellow this time because there's lots of green in here. And just this part. But I don't want this to be a line, so I'm just gonna dab some of the ink off. Wait, I have to clean this first because this was green. <laughs> so like this, so I can turn it around again and just come in like this. Ah, now push too hard so you can see the C. You can see the C. Okay, well normally I would just do this again, but I really don't mind that much. It's just because this is also splattered, I don't mind that it goes over the C. No, I really just don't mind. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. <laughs> so you can come in as many times as you want with this stamp and turn it around. Um, but just don't push too hard because then you get that. That's why I did it, so I could show you, don't do that. But if you do, oh well, it still looks nice. So, now of course I need to sponge this. If you watch my videos more often, you know I need to sponge. But I like to use a kitchen sponge. I like the edge much better. Um, can I show you on a piece of paper? Wait a minute. I've got this little piece of paper. So this is when you sponge with the kitchen sponge. And this is when you sponge, it will be a bit more green, with this sponge. I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but this is, has just a little bit more fanned out effect. And this is just a bit more... <laughs> uh, I don't know how to say that. I don't even know how to say that in Dutch. It's just not as fanned out as this one. This looks a bit more... Uh, I still don't know what to say. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. Um, I just like this better. That's just the difference. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, I always like to sponge the corners a bit more. So I just go around and here I go on the paper a bit more. Okay. You know, I really don't mind that this is uh, has a bit co of color on it. I actually really don't. <laughs> I would have expected it to bother me a lot, but it just really doesn't. Oh well, <laughs> that's a good thing. Otherwise I had to make it again. Uh, okay, so now I need my wild wasabi paper. And I'm going to glue this on here with my trusty double-sided tape. You can use uh, glue, of course, but again, if you see my videos more often, you know I don't like glue. And glue doesn't like me. <laughs> and I love tape. So here we go. So you don't have to push, put tape under here, because then you might just flatten it a bit. And this just looks so great. So here we go. Let's just put it on here. And now I need my cutting board. And on my cutting board I have this little sticker that I put on here myself. So if I put this <laughs> right up this edge next to the edge of the sticker, you'll see that I have the same border every time. If I do it right, of course. So let's just see like uh, this i think you see just a little edge and it's crooked <laughs> of course it is let's do that again i'm not sure if i can fix this nah being too picky okay and then this side and this side Just line it up with the sticker every time. Et le voilà. Still, they think this is a bit. Let's just try it again. That's better. <laughs> okay, so now I have this, and I can put this on my. Wait a minute. On my cart. That's nice. But 
I want to put more sentiments on here because in here you also have let's celebrate your day. Why not? So I'm going to put um, you have let's. <laughs> Come on. And your day is over here. Now I need some more. Oh, over here. So this says your D. And this says let's. So what shall I use? Yellow or green? Oh, because I uh, already took this out of my ribbon box. Hmm. <laughs> I, I think it doesn't matter. I'm going for the green. So first of all, I... Just stamp it off one time to see if the stamp works okay. Hmm. I pushed it a bit too hard in the ink. Oh, let me see. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Your day. Oh, it's upside down. Let's celebrate. Uh, oh, where do I want it? I want the ribbon over here. Okay, and well, something like this. Let's celebrate your day. That looks better. So, um, to get this ribbon tied around, I like to put just a little bit of this. <laughs> it's always hard to find the beginning. Um, let's just see about this high and see if it's okay. Well, what do you know? It is okay. No, it's not. It's still, just a, it needs to be a little bit higher. So now I'm going to glue this on the card because then it's easier to make the little knot. Uh, Again with double-sided tape. Oh, <laughs> I almost cut the ribbon over there. <laughs> I have to get this really straight. Um, I guess so. I hope this is okay <laughs> because once you glue it on, it's on there. Okay, let's just see. So as you can see, this is a really quick and easy card. You might have to practice not getting that, uh, keeping that wide. <laughs> um, do I want more on here? No, I just, I like it. I like, ooh. I, I wanted to stamp something on here with maybe first a mark or so, but no, this is just a simple, happy card. So like this. And then you can take these two ends and wait, wait just a second. Sorry guys, I was interrupted again. The kids came in and uh, I love my crafting corner, but the problem is it's smack in the middle of the living room. So sometimes a challenge to film these videos. Okay, I was planning to tie a knot and where shall I put it? Over here or over? Oh, it's not. It's not a straight knot. <laughs> uh, over here. So I'm just gonna tie another knot on top of it. And that's it. Just got these pieces. Oh, not the best pair of scissors. And this one. Ta-da! Um, of course, this might be nice to put one of these on <laughs> or is it just too much but it's never too much <laughs> I'm always so picky with these things uh, I want to put it over there so I'm gonna put it over here 
Okay, so that was it. It's a really, really simple card. And this isn't over here to camouflage the fact that I put some ink over there. It just happened to be there. Uh, so you can see that it's really simple. I just made this in a few minutes. And uh, I did make some more. That's why I did it so easily. Because I made this one uh, with, oh, I don't know, uh, Peekaboo Peach and I think Watermelon Mem Membo. And you can see this. This is how it should be. So, but oh well. And I also made one with this color. Uh, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I think, um, oh, let's just wait. Um, I think Bermuda Bay and another one. Bermuda Bay and another one. Pool party, probably, I'm not sure. So, um, these are just three examples. So over here, I just didn't put a ribbon. I just punched it uh, slightly and put four of these things. And it's a really simple card, but I just really like it. And you can use it for everything. I didn't put a sentiment on here, just celebrate. So, and this one says celebrate your day. And this one just said, says celebrate good times. And again, with these dots, I really love those. So, um, well, it was just a short video, but I uh, hope you liked it. And I hope it inspired you to... Um, make things like this because you can use all kinds of stamps to put over here you can even well i wanted to say you can even uh go over it with a sponge but then you'll be likely to go into the grooves of the embossed part so don't do that <laughs> uh well, if you like the video then just give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos my creative videos and all my other videos then just hit the subscribe button and all that's left to say is groetjes from holland which means greetings from Holland. Groetjes. Bye.